Paradox Rift Master Set has finally been completed. In this video, I'm going to share with you the cost and how long it took me to complete the Master Set, which single did I purchase and traded, and the top 10 cards for the set. In addition, at the end of the video, I'm going to share with you some tips to complete your Master Set. As many of you are aware, this is the 5th Scarlet and Violet set of the year. We started with Scarlet and Violet base set, followed by Powder Evolve and Obsidian Flame. Then 151 came about as the specialty set. Then we ended with the Paradox Reef, which is very very good in my perspective. I want to take this opportunity to talk about the cards that I did not pull from the booster packs. They are Pulsal, Minon, Minor, and also at the back, they are Ipom, Loud Red, Swablu, Stelix, and Ferroton. And if you are not aware, this card here, the Groudon card, is the most expensive. At this point of time of this video filming, it's $34.99 US dollar, followed by Mopeko, which is $11.99 and Stelix which is also 11.99. This is the top 3 card at the moment standing at the Throat and Toad uh, website. Let's move on to the Ultra Rare which is uh, featuring Pokemon and also the trainers. Now something to take note this time is the artwork for Iron Hands, Iron Villain, Roaring Moon, Sandy Shocks and maybe even Edge Slash or even Tapu Koko right? They stand out among the rest. If you compare the artwork with maybe Scarlet and Violet base set, Powdia, and also maybe Obsidian Flame, you can see that they have uh, invested a lot of artwork uh, effort in these few cards here because they do stand out if you place them side by side with other sets. Then even the Terraform Pokemon, I think they have also spent a lot of time to make sure that they stand out versus the previous set and indeed they look really really cool. Talking about the pool rates, right? I don't have any issue for Ultra Rare except the Roaring Moon and the Edge Slash, which I need to do some training with other collectors. Before I move on to the special illustration, I just want to touch on the trainer. I feel that the illustration for the Paradox Reef, especially the trainer, they are much better looking compared to the previous trainer cards that we have. If you compare them to Obsidian Flame, Powder Evolve, and even the Scarlet and Violet base set, these cards here do stand out a little bit better than the rest. If you look at so many special illustration rare for Paradox Reef, you will be very very stressed because you have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 18 and 19 of them. To collect 19 special illustration rare, it means that you either buy them or you need to open more booster packs and booster boxes. Uh, coming to the artwork, I would say which one that stand out is the Iron Villain. Roaring Moon, Go Dango, Tapu Koko, Arteria, and finally Tulip. So these are the cards that really stand out for me in terms of the illustration of the artwork. I think they've done a pretty 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 solid work this time round. And not forgetting, these cards here are basic Pokemons and they can be played and you know you can just build your deck upon these cards easily you don't have to buy special illustration rare of course you can buy from double rare they have the same function same ability same hp it's just that this illustration is much more uh, so called rare than compared to the double rare cards as it stands today, Roaring Moon is $124.99 US dollars and Iron Villain is $56.99. The third more expensive card will be Gold Dango standing at $41.99. 
and I'm very surprised about Iron Hands. It is still top five in terms of the whole set itself. The reason is because I can think of is mm, the armor is not really fantastic to me, but it is playable. So the playability of this card and because of its status, special illustration rare, uh, it will put it at the top five for a very long time. We have come to the Hyper Rare, but just before the Hyper Rare, I just want to talk about Parasol Lady and Professor Sadder's Vitality. They are playable in the TCG arena. That's the reason why they are the top 10 cards at the moment, including Tilip. So these three cards, they are top 10 at the moment, but the most expensive of, of all these three cards here is Professor Sadder's Vitality. It is standing at $34.99 US dollars. Next, I want to talk about the Hyper Rare. The only card that I did not manage to pull is the Counter Catcher. This card is somewhat also the top 12 card at the moment. It is standing at $16.99 US dollars. But the most expensive Hyper Rare card is the Roaring Moon. It's $22.99. So this card here, I have to buy it, but I got it at a very, very good price to complete this entire Hyper Rare series. Last and finally, we come to the promo cards. Uh, these two here are from the Elite Trainer Box Pokemon Center version, so I get double of each. And then here uh, is the normal ETB that I opened. Uh, for the promo cards on the top, we got it from the single blister check lane and three pack blisters. In terms of the number of packs that we open, in fact, we open up 13 booster boxes. That is 468 packs. Also, two Elite Trainer boxes. That is 18 packs. Not forgetting the Pokemon Center ETB. That gives you 22 packs. In addition, we also open up 24 sleeve boosters, 3 pack blisters times 2, and check lane 1 pack blister times 2. That will give us 540 booster packs in total. After opening 540 booster packs, we are still short of 15 cards and they are Snorren Illustration Rare, Pulsar Illustration Rare, Minor Illustration Rare, Minor Illustration Rare, Stelix Illustration Rare, Ipom Illustration Rare, Loud Red Illustration Rare, Swear Blue Illustration Rare, Roaring Moon EX Ultra Rare, Edge Slash EX Ultra Rare, Gachom EX Special Illustration Rare, Iron Villain EX Special Illustration Rare, Professor Sadder's Vitality Special Illustration Rare, Professor Turo Scenario Special Illustration Rare, and Counter Catcher Hyper Rare. We have come to the most interesting part of the video that you're waiting for. I know you will be very keen to know how much I spent on the master set. Here it goes. For the sealed products, I have spent 1987 and 33 cents. For the singles, especially the illustration rare, I managed to trade my extras with some collectors and the only one that I had bought is the Snorren illustration rare. That cost me $7. Another card that I managed to trade off is the Roaring Moon EX Ultra Rare. I trade in with one of the cards I possess, so I'm very glad I don't have to spend a lot of money to buy that uh, Roaring Moon EX Ultra Rare. I spent $15 on Edge Slash EX Ultra Rare and Garchomp EX Special Illustration Rare. I was very blessed that someone that I found in the marketplace managed to sell me at $44 for the Iron Villain EX Special Illustration Rare. And Professor Sadder's Vitality and Professor Turo Scenario, I got two of them at $48 in total. The last card which was missing is the Hyper Rare Counter Catcher. So a friend of mine also sell it to me at $9, which is very, very cheap compared to the prevailing rate at the moment. For the singles, I spent $123. For the master set total cost, I want to spend some time to break down the cost to avoid any confusion. So you can see that we have spent a lot of money in the sealed products. From the duplicates that I got, I could create another master set. Why? Because I have almost about 3 fifths of the Illustration Rare, Ultra Rare and Special Illustration Rare, including the Hyper Rare. 
What it means for me is that 1,987 and 33 cents, we're going to divide it into two because eventually we are creating two pieces of master sets. So I can say that $933.67 is a cost of a master set for the silk products that we opened. And then with the singles for the first master set, we spent $123. To conclude, the very first master set for Paradox Rift that we have built costs $1,056.67. Next, I want to spend some time to talk about my recommendations. First on the list is to get hold of a sealed case of booster boxes. By doing so, at least you have a high chance of pulling the Roaring Moon and Iron Villain EX Special Illustration Rare. This will help you to reduce your financial output on the singles later on. Second on the list are the singles. For singles, I would strongly recommend bulk purchase from a few sources. Example, Throat and Toad, TCG Player and eBay. If you are just getting one or two cards from a buyer or source, do make sure that you have no other choices. The next tip is to complete the illustration rare as early as possible. In total, you have to complete 34 cards, and some of the cards are not easily accessible. The rule of the thumb for me is to complete the illustration rare within 10 days of release. And talking about that, I would strongly recommend when it comes to a huge set like Paradox Wreath, it is best to complete the set as early as possible. I understand some collectors play the waiting game to anticipate and drop in the price of each card, but the truth is not every card in such a huge set will be accessible later on. I always stick to my principle of completing the master set within 2 weeks of release. Let's look at the top 10 cards for Paradox Reef. We got this from the Throat and Toad website. This is standing tall for Roaring Moon EX Special Illustration Rare. It is standing at $124.99. The second card on the list is Iron Valiant EX. It's $56.99. Third on the list is Goldango EX Special Illustration Rare. It is $41.99. Fourth on the list is Iron Hands EX, is $37.99. The fifth card is Groudon Illustration Rare, a surprise, standing tall among the rest of the Special Illustration Rare. It is valued at $37.99 for the moment. Next on the list is Professor Satter's Vitality Special Illustration Rare, is $34.99. Parasol Lady is next, a special illustration rare standing at $29.99. Next on the list is Gachom EX special illustration rare, is $29.99. Mela special illustration rare is also standing at $29.99. The last card of the top 10 is Ulterior EX Special Illustration Rare, it's $27.99. It's time for a proper walkthrough of the entire master set. We start off with Surs Kit, Masquerine, Frostlast EX Double Rare, Pensage, Semisage, Dwebble, Crestal, Bowsuit, Steeny, Big Buck, Dottler, Orbito, Nimble, Nimble, Tots Cool, Tots Cool, Tots Cruel, Wu Chin, Magby, Magby, Pensir, Semisir, Volcanian, Pikuku, Crocolo, Chaka Deck, Chaka Deck, Emeroch, EX Double Rare, Iron Moth, Tsu Yu, Horsey, Cedra, Kingdra, Remorate, Artillery, Phoebus, Melodic, Storrent, Garchomp EX Double Rare, Manteke, Palkia, Penpaw, Semipaw, Vanillite, Vanillish, Vanillexa, Tessarina EX Double Rare, Windpot, Windpot, Golisopot, Golisopot EX Double Rare, Wiglet, Wiglet, Wutrill, Beluza, Dondozo, Iron Bundle, Chen Pao, 
Chen Pao again, Mew 2 EX Double Rare, Elekid, Pulsol, Minion, Blitzel, Zap Striker, Zoltic, Graventula, Zekrom, Oricario, Tapu Coco EX Double Rare, Toxel, Iron Hands EX Double Rare, Natu, Zatu, Latios, Dioxys, Yamas, Crofagigas EX Double Rare, Pumpkapu, Gorgis, Fiddle, Fiddle, Espatra, Tinkerting, 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 Tinkertuff, Tinkerton, Screamtail, Gimme Ho, Gimme Ho, Iron Villain EX Double Rare, Onyx, Glitga, Galizo, Groudon, Gibble, Gibbite, Minfu, Minshao, Hoopa EX Double Rare, Minnow, Tortricity EX Double Rare, Nekli, Nekli, Nextek, Gaganek, Cloth, Flamigo, Slider Wing, Sandy Shocks EX Double Rare, Tinglo, Tinglo, Zubat, Gobat, Crobat, Opso, Proleon, Lipart, Trebish, Gabador, Yevoto, Nikit, Tivu, Mopeko, Mopeko, Low Kicks, Brute Bonnet, Roaring Moon EX Double Rare, Stilix, Jirachi, Ferrocid, Ferroton, Durand, Hornich, Hornich, Dublit, Dublit, Agislash, Agislash EX Double Rare, Zacian, Scaliger, Othworm, Goldango EX Double Rare, Altira EX Double Rare, Tatsujiri, Tatsujiri, Porygon, Porygon 2, Porygon Z, Ipom, Ambipom, Milk Tank, Wisma, Loud Red, Explode, Spinder, Swear Blue, Tandemus, Tandemus, Mouse Hold EX Double Rare, Bombina EX Double Rare, Sacliza, Iron Jack Leash, Ancient Booster Energy Capsule, Kauto Catcher, Chris Duster, Defiance Vest, Urban Vessel, Future Booster Energy Capsule, Larry, Luxurious Cape, Miller, Norman, Parasolani, Professor Status Vitality, Professor Turo Scenario, Rika, Roark, Chantel, Snorlax Door, Technical Machine Blindsight, Technical Machine Devolution, Technical Machine Evolution, Technical Machine Turbo Energize, Techno Raider, Tulip, Medical Energy, Crestle, Dotler, Totscruel, Macbuy, Iron Moth, Snorrent, Benteke, Vanillish, Wimpot, Beluza, Pulsol, Minion, Blitzo, Zoltic, Espatra, Gimeho, Groudon, Minshao, Minor, Gaganek, Sliderwing, Gabador, Yevoto, Mopeko, Brute Bonnet, Stelix, Ferroton, Agislash, Ipom, Loud Red, Swear Blue, Porygon Z, Cycliza, Iron Jacklish, Frostlust EX, Amorach EX, Garchomp EX, The Serena EX, Golisopod EX, Tapu Coco EX, Iron Hands EX, Crofagigas EX, Iron Villain EX, Hoopa EX, Tortricity EX, Sandy Shocks EX, Roaring Moon EX, Edge Slash EX, Gold Angle EX, Altira EX, Mouso EX, Bombadia EX, Larry Miller, Norman, Parasol Lady, Professor Sadders Vitality, Professor Turo Scenario, Rika, Roark, Chantel, Tulip, Garchomp EX, Golisopod EX, Tapu Coco EX, Iron Hands EX, Iron Villain EX, Sandy Shocks EX, Roaring Moon EX, Gold Angle EX, Altira EX, Miller, Parasol Lady, Professor Status Vitality, Professor Turo Scenario, Rika, Tulip, Garchomp EX, Iron Villain EX, Roaring Moon EX, Beach Court Counter Catcher, Luxurious Cape, Reversal Energy, Pine Core, Sinus T, The Titan, Artibex, Screamtail, Screamtail, Iron Bundle, Iron Bundle, Screamtail, Iron Bundle. And that's it. And thanks for watching and see you in the next one.